Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be talking about CDL endorsements. What are they, why are they important, and what are the details of them? So there's actually a total of six CDL endorsements that we're going to be talking about today in this video, and let's get right into it. So what are endorsements? Endorsements are things that can actually give you access to drive more in different types of vehicles, right? So these are extra items that you can kind of put on your license that almost level up your license in a certain way where you have to go through these extra hoops and now your license become that much more valuable because you're able to drive a few different types of items. So the first endorsement that we're going to be talking about is going to be the H endorsement, which is for hazardous material. So H stands for hazardous. That's why they came up with that. And pretty much what does that mean? That means that you're going to be able to transport things that are considered hazardous material. So that could be things like gasoline. That could be things like gun ammunition, dynamite, poisonous gases, kind of corrode, uh, maybe a whole pack of batteries or anything like that. Even a whole truckload of hairspray is technically considered hazardous material simply because it is flammable. That being said, what are the processes of actually getting a H endorsement on your license? Whether you have your license now or you're in the process of getting your license, you're gonna have to pass one written test, which is a hazmat written exam. Once you pass that test, then you have to go through a fingerprint background check through the TSA. And once that's good to go, you are ready to rock and roll and add that to your actual license. Now, the thing you have to understand about hazmat is it does expire anywhere from two to four years, depending on the state that you are in, which means you're going to have to get retested and recertified on the fingerprint side to make sure you're up to date and make sure that you are not a crazy criminal. And you're going to be transporting hazardous material all across state lines. So that's hazmat endorsement. Now let's talk about the P endorsement. P endorsement stands for passenger. So this gives you the ability to transport the loudest and most talkative cargo around, which is people, right? So passenger endorsement does not mean animals. In this case, it means actual human. How do you actually get a passenger endorsement? That means you're going to have to go through two main steps. Step number one, you're going to have to get yourself a CDL permit and get passenger endorsement on there. And the way to do that is to pass the ELDT uh, for passenger, and then you're also going to have to pass the actual written exam for the CDL passenger test. Once you pass that, then they're gonna add that to your permit. Now you're gonna have to take an entire road test in an actual passenger vehicle. In most cases, if you're here at Driving Academy, we'll actually take you in our bus. So the cool thing about being a student here is we can help you out get a CDL class A or help you get a passenger endorsement as well. Whether you wanna go class B or class A with a passenger endorsement, we have courses for all of that. You're gonna have to go through the entire road test, which is gonna be inspection, parking and driving on the road and they're going to test your specific abilities on how to transport passengers so when you go on the road it's going to be things like hey how do you interact with railroad crossings as an example and that's going to be super important and super different between driving a bus and driving a tractor trailer with passengers on it so you're definitely going to have to understand that and if you go to the proper school like here at driving academy we're here to walk you through every single step of the way so passengers actually give you the access to drive like coach buses shuttle buses anything like that technically 16 passengers or more are required for a passenger endorsement but if you want to drive school buses there's going to be a little bit extra thing that you're going to have to do which brings us to our next endorsement, which is going to be the S endorsement. S endorsement stands for school bus. And this means that you're going to need to have this on your license if you want to actually transport kids to and from school or any extracurricular activities, right? So even if you're like a soccer coach and you're transporting the soccer team after school to their game, technically, if it's a school bus, you're going to need to have a school bus endorsement on there. Now, school bus endorsement is going to be required to have a passenger endorsement as well. So if you want to be able to drive a school bus, similar thing as a passenger, you're going to have to pass the school bus written exam, pass the ELDT theory course, go through the training to get done, and then take the CDL road test in a physical school bus. So the difference between passenger and school bus when it comes to the road test is, when it comes to the inside inspection, we're going to be inspecting a few different things as a school bus versus a passenger endorsement. For instance, like the seatbelt cutters and bodily fluid kit and things like that are going to be specifically for school bus. Also, the lights are going to be different, right? So the eight-way flashing lights, when it comes to picking up, dropping off kids, you're going to learn, have to learn how to operate those. And when it comes to the parking, it's going to be exactly the same, so no big difference there. However, when it comes to the driving on the road portion, they're going to test your skills on both on the passenger, like we talked about, on how to interact with railroad crossings, but they're also going to test your skills on how to pick up and drop off kids all in the proper ways to do that specifically. 
So that's going to definitely need to be done if you want to drive school buses. Now, if you want to drive school buses, you need both passenger and school bus endorsement on your license and you will be good to go. Because if you want to do that as a career, it's a great thing to do. But I don't understand you're probably going to get paid four to six hours per day because you're going to pick up the kids for two to three hours and then you're going to go home to relax and then you're going to go pick up the kids again for two to three hours and then go home and relax. So if you want to make the most amount of money with the CDL, Maybe getting that endorsement is not the best option for you. But if you want the variety and you want school bus drivers are in huge demand, then it might be a great option for you as well. Next endorsement on our list is going to be the tanker endorsement. This is going to show up with a letter N. Now, I don't know why they chose N for a tanker endorsement. It doesn't really make too much sense to me. But what does this give you access to? This gives you access to drive vehicles like so, right? So it's going to be anything that you're transporting liquids gases or even like feed or like powders right so the concrete industry is going to be a something that's required to actually use tankers itself because they have the certain concrete mix that they're going to be transporting from point a to point b anything that's a tank you're going to need a tanker now can you transport things that are like oil based probably not because then you're also going to need to have a hazmat endorsement as well but specifically for tankers so you're talking about maybe you're transporting water Juices, eggs are actually transported in tankers. Milk is transported in tankers. And many different things like sand can be transported in tankers as well. Now, this is one of the easiest endorsements to actually get. Really, all you have to do is get yourself a CDL permit itself and then pass the tanker endorsement written test. Now, if you need help with that, contact one of our locations. We're definitely able to help you out with any of these endorsements. We actually have online training courses available to actually physically help you out with all this stuff. And that's, for instance, say you're transporting liquids and all of a sudden you come to a stop. You know how like everything in your back seat kind of gets pushed to the front? Imagine if you're driving a huge tanker full of liquid and all of a sudden you get this surge of water or liquid going and pushing you forward. It can be a little scary. Definitely something to keep in mind when you're actually getting this endorsement and getting a job there. The next endorsement on our list is actually going to be a double, which is going to be a tanker and hazmat endorsement put together. And that's if you want to transport things like gasoline or fuel or anything like that. And that's going to be an X endorsement. And X endorsements is for tanker and hazmat, like I said. In order to get this, you're actually going to have to do pass two different written tests. Pass a tanker endorsement written test and pass a hazmat endorsement written test. And then you're going to have to get your fingerprints done for the hazmat. And then you're good to go. You're able to add that to your permit or to your license and no extra road test is needed for this. So specifically, if you want to transport hazardous gases, for instance, or fuel to the fuel stations, that's the kind of endorsement you're going to need, which is going to be an X endorsement. And for the last endorsement on our list is going to be for driving the biggest kinds of vehicles around, which is doubles and triples. That's right. That means you can transport two or three trailers at a time if you have this endorsement. Now, why would somebody want to do that? Well, companies do this to kind of cut down on labor because imagine they have multiple things going to the same depot or the same warehouse. Instead of paying two drivers to do it, why not just pay one? And that makes a lot of sense. Now, doubles and triples are not allowed in every single road or every single state. There are certain states that allow triples, certain states that only allow doubles. Every state's going to have a little bit different of rules, especially on the roads that they're going to be going on. But the thing that you have to understand is if you want to get this, it's almost as easy as getting a tanker endorsement. All you really have to do is pass the CDL written test for the doubles and triples written test itself and get that on your permit if you don't have your license yet or to get that endorsement on your license. The DMV or the FMCSA believes that before you actually start driving, you're going to get trained by the company who's going to hire you to actually transport doubles and triples. And the main thing that you have to understand there is turning is going to be extra wide, right? When you're hooking up doubles and triples, you're going to need something called the dolly to help you out with that. And backing up becomes extremely difficult. Imagine doing a road test in a trailer is hard. Imagine doing it in doubles and triples. Not that you have to do it, but just a cool thought experiment. Be like, whoa, that's going to be hard. There's a whole bunch of cool videos out there like this one. This guy kind of going some crazy things on this double on this double trailer right over here. And that man is a professional right over there. So those are pretty much all the endorsements that we're talking about here. And now if you want to upgrade your license or just get yourself a CDL license in the first place, definitely give our team a call by checking out our website, cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. We can help you get a basic CDL license, whether it's Class A or Class B. And if you want to upgrade with endorsements, we can help you out with that as well. We've trained over 10,000 students already, and we're definitely here to help you out. We're open up seven days a week, and all you need to get started is $500 down with any of our packages here. We can offer an interest-free payment plan for the rest. 
So, what are you waiting for? Check out a location near you. If you don't see anything yet, make sure you contact the Linden Office Facility, and we're definitely here to help you and guide you on the road to freedom. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.